10 p.m in ghana i should sit on my laptop i should log in and just find a date hello good day hope you are doing great hope your day is going amazing so yeah so i'm esther kato and as you can see from today's title we are going to talk about why i decided to come to germany in the first place yeah so let's get right into it first of all i wanted to further my studies in dispute resolution that is mediation negotiation arbitration and all the good stuff you know so that was my interest so since i i knew this was what i wanted to study in i researched um i researched on the schools that were offering these courses so it boiled down to two schools so one in germany and the other in the uk so germany's own offered masters in international dispute resolution whilst in the uk it was i believe mediation and um alternative dispute resolution so i got the uk's own first so I thought that was the school that um, I had gotten so it wasn't a bad course so why not just start the process then the um, the international dispute resolution from Humboldt University came in so I I was quite confused yes, so when I got these two options I called one university lecturer Mr. Kwashiga he was amazing he was very helpful to me so i asked him of his opinion and his advice because he was a lecturer he was my lecturer in alternative dispute resolution so i knew he knew um the subject and the course and how it can help me so he gave me to he explained to me what exactly the options are even though it looks similar it is different because the one in germany is international dispute resolution and the one in uk's mediation and alternative dispute resolution so germany's own is quite international they focus on international dispute resolution but the one in the uk is good but i don't know the um it wasn't really focused on international dispute resolution but kind of alternative dispute resolution so he gave me the two options and he gave me um he didn't he didn't say i should select this one he just told me what it entailed so it was my decision to choose which one best suited me so i also made my research i researched on these two schools like what are what makes the other stand out so i wish that in germany germany is a very beautiful place um low crime rates in the the facilities are very good they have resources that um, help students in their studies so all these things were quite good i wanted after my studies i wanted to work for a while in my course so in Germany, I read that after your studies, they give you the option to stay in the country for 18 months to look for a job that is in line with your course or that is um, that the immigration office accepts. Mm -hmm. So for the fact that Germany offered international dispute resolution, the focus was more international. The, the facilities are very good. They have resources that... Um, help students in their studies so all these things were quite good yeah so it looked very attractive to me so I decided to select Germany instead of um, UK and also the school fees so I want to also add that um, the reason why I also chose Germany was because the school fees was quite affordable as compared to USA and maybe Canada because those schools are quite expensive you know so that was why I chose Germany so after I had gotten the news to study in Humboldt University now the visa process starts oh my goodness it wasn't easy <laughs> it wasn't easy at all 
so first of all you have to get an appointment date which is a whole story all together so i struggled to get an appointment date friend that i knew in germany advised me that usually they open the appointment days midnight in germany and that time it was 10 p.m in ghana so 10 p.m 10 p.m in ghana i should sit on my laptop i should log in and just find the date so god being so good on the second try we had a date and i had the appointment date to to come for the interview in the german embassy in ghana so that was it so that one too you have to prepare your documents you have to do your photocopies so all the required documents they are all stated on their um their website so you have to read that one to know the required documents so after that before it gets to your time for the interview date there are in during my time there were two people in front of the gate that would arrange your documents for you to make sure that they are in order so in case you miss you didn't add some documents they can inform you so that you can do a photocopy right away and um, bring it so that you wouldn't find yourself wanting so i remember <laughs> during i don't know during the interview this guy was like one of the guys were like ah now you why are you coming to germany why are you sending all the the tuition fees to germany why can't you stay here and spend it in, in ghana that was so funny to me yeah so so that that was quite funny yes yeah, so we went for the interview um so the interview too i was a little scared because the date was drawing nearer to the academic year so i think it was just one month or two months for the academic year to begin so the counselor definitely asked me that it is is drawing nearer why why sh why do you still want to go so i knew this might come up so i told the university to print the documents for me showing that um, to provide that even if i delay or even if the academic year starts and i'm not able to come before that date they will still they will still accept me so i told them this and she was like it's not a problem no it's it is not the school's decision it is their decision to agree whether i can go or not to go so yeah so it was a very it was it was a scary period for me because she just said i should go they will get back to me so it was a terrifying two-week period so you have to wait for two weeks to get the response through an email so two weeks time they gave they sent me an email that i should create a block account the block account so i should create it in like one week i was like oh my goodness like you see i'm even panting <laughs> i still remember that time like see it was yesterday so it was it, it wasn't easy at all so i had to create my blocked account i had to create my travel insurance and submit it to them without this you you can't prove that you are financially financially stable to tra travel to germany so you have to provide the proof you have to provide proof of travel insurance and take your um in order for you to take your visa yeah, so there were several questions that the, the consular asked me. So one was, why Germany? I mean, other countries are there. Why do you want to study in Germany? So I would, I would advise you that if you want to come to Germany, at least research on why you want to come to Germany. So maybe because of low crime rates, because um, it's, it's, I don't know. So you research on why you personally want to come to Germany, you see. So that was one question she asked me. And she also asked me why I selected that course, what it entails. So I had already read about it, the electives and the core subjects of my course and explained a little about it to her to convince her that I know what I'm doing or I know the reason why 
I applied for the school. So that was the questions she asked me. So she asked several questions. So I think every every consular is different. They they it's not always the same questions they might they may ask all the applicants. So but these two things I think are paramount for you to know and just in case they ask you you are already prepared for it so yeah so these are the questions i remember she asked me first and foremost what i've learned from this process is that just be calm it is difficult not to be calm but there is nothing you can do but just be calm because if you are not calm you might do certain things that you would regret so even in the pressure be calm and for me as a christian I'll tell you that pray, you know, pray about it and be patient, you know. And um, secondly, it is not bad for you to seek assistance. Like, don't find your, don't think it is beneath you to ask someone for help because my friend in Germany helped me a lot and I'm so grateful for that. And he gave me that confidence that you can come, you know. There are opportunities here, so don't worry. So he gave me that confidence to not um, be scared or be, be perturbed about it. So you can also share your comments on how your consular was. Was she strict? How was she like? And how your process was to just, I don't know, that can help someone here. So I... I thank you for watching my videos so kindly like okay. share subscribe and and don't forget people who are amazing help others to be amazing have a lovely day bye